I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Of all the fish in my 450 gallon reef, the one that I get the most questions about and the one that gets noticed the most isn't a tang, it isn't my crosshatch trigger, it's my trio of yellow pyramid butterfly fish. A part of the reason they get noticed is because they're pretty and the bigger reason that they get noticed is that they're butterfly fish. So what's the big deal about a butterfly in a reef tank? Well, most butterflies aren't great inhabitants in reef tanks. Most find coral and clams simply irresistible. They are known to destroy a coral or nip at a coral enough that the polyps are always retracted, which usually ends in coral death. This fact is sad as there are lots of very beautiful butterflies. The wrought iron butterfly, the saddleback butterfly, and the raccoon butterfly all come to mind. If you tell a reefer that you're putting a butterfly in your tank, most will respond with a look of horror and tell you to kiss your coral goodbye. While there are a lot of butterflies that don't do well in a reef tank, the butterfly fish that's the best match for a reef is a yellow pyramid butterfly. Now these guys come from Indonesia, Fiji, and Australia, and I've placed dozens in clients' tanks. The ones that have always done the best are the ones that I get out of Australia. With a dark brown face, white body, and yellow fins, the yellow pyramid butterfly is a striking fish for your reef. They seldom nip at corals as they prefer to eat plankton out of the water column in the wild. Even clam mantles and fleshy LPS corals are safe around yellow pyramid butterflies. The yellow pyramid butterfly can get quite large, over six inches, and most specimens come in smaller than that. A tank of at least 150 gallons in size is best for these butterflies. They can be kept singly in pairs or even trios like I have in my reef. I used to have just one and I loved it so much that I had to get more, so now I have three. They are friendly to other butterfly fish and they won't bother any other fish in your tank either. While they won't eat your coral, they will devour any food that you put in your reef. Mine eat nori and frozen food and they're always eager to eat. Any and every fish that goes into your tank needs to be quarantined. Every pyramid butterfly that I've ever quarantined has sailed to the process. They take to prepare foods very quickly and treating them with copper is not a problem when you do it properly. So between their good looks, great temperament, ease of keeping and quarantining, the pyramid butterfly is the stand-down butterfly fish for your reef. Promise you, you put one of these in your tank, your reefing buddies will be amazed, and anyone who comes to look at your tank is going to notice the pyramids very quickly. And of course, it'll make you a very happy reef keeper to have such a beautiful fish in your reef. I'm Mark Callie and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.